Anaitwa nani? Babu Owino. Aha. Yeah. Mheshimiwa karibu sana. Karibu sana utuongoze katika hiyo sehemu imebakia na Mungu akubariki. Asante sana Bishop. Wacha ni songe hapa karibu nitoke mbali na madabao. Ni maneno inaweza toka ile mbaya. <laughs> JTM Mufaya. JTM Mufaya. God is good all the time. And all the time God is good and that is nature. Wow. Asante sana. Kwanza kabisa nataka nishukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutuleta kwenye JTM katika hii kanisa tena. Amen. Na la pili nataka nishukuru Baba Raila Amolo Odinga kwa kupenda hii kanisa yetu sana. Amen. Na baba sasa ni mwenye ni mwana hii kanisa. Amen. Holy Ghost Fire. JTM Mufaya. Nataka tena nikaribishe mama yetu mpendwa. Mama wa nguvu. Mama Mata Karua. Nikaribishe pia profesa wetu Profesa ambaye ana akili mingi sana. Profesa Makao Mutua. Na nitambue tena uwepo wa DAP Party Leader, Generali mwenyewe Honorable Eugene Wamalwa. Na pia nikaribishe Roots Party Leader Mtu wetu wa nguvu sana ambaye pia ni general. Wajakosh. Ambaye pia ana dawa. Anaitwa Profesa Wajakoya. Alafu pia ni shukuru apostle wetu na mama wetu. Kwa kila wakati tunakuambia tunakuja kwa kanisa yetu hapa unatupatia ruhusa Mungu akubariki na wanakanisa wote Kwa viongozi waliobaki watakuwa introduced na minority leader wetu ni wakati wangu sasa kuita MCA wa area kukuja tu aseme jina lake kwa dakika moja kwa sababu hatuna muda Asante mheshimiwa Sazo karibu JTM Mofire JTM Mofire Mimi leo sina mengi ya kusema leo nasema ni washukuru sana kwa ile kazi mlitufanyia bado siku ya campaign si kweli Your excellency hapa nilikwambia ndio kanan Una vile tunacheza hapa ndio kanan Na pia ningetaka niwahakikishie kuna shida kidogo ilitokea hapo nje hiyo mimi na babu wao tutatatua Hiyo ni shida kidogo sana Ndio na posto umesema faith without action is it is dead. Sasa sisi tumekuachia faith si tunaenda na action. Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Wewe akisema itafanywa. Na nitaongelea hiyo mambo wacha nichukue nafasi kidogo kuita the majority leader wa county assembly ya Nairobi akuja introduce members wa county assembly ambao wako hapa. Karibu sana mheshimiwa Imwatok. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. JTM Mufaya. Sijasikia JTM. Mufaya. JTM Mufaya. Your Excellency, baba wetu na rais wetu. Yeah. Langu hapa nimepoa jukumu ya kuintroduce wale MCS tuko nao. Whip wetu wa majority Moses Ogeto yuko pale Kilimani ametoka kisi jana usiku Amen. tuko hapa na mheshimiwa wa hapa hapa stars wa Mungala amezungumza wengine wasema ametafadhali tuka hapa na mheshimiwa Munuve kutoka Kariobangi tuko hapa na mheshimiwa Naumi kutoka Kamkunji tuko pale na mheshimiwa Kolo Kayole Central tuko pale na mheshimiwa Roskula Embakasi South Your Excellency hawa ndio wako hapa saa hizi tumepata ujumbe mzee atakuwa hapa tukafika kwa haraka lakini mheshimiwa babu vile mheshimiwa stars wamesema
Bishop Wetu Manyuru, may God bless you for always accepting our president to worship with us here. Baadia wengina tuendi kando, tunasema our president without regrets. Kwa maombi tutaomba, lakini pia action, tutaweka mafuta kwa sana, breaks kwa umbali. Asante sana. Uyo ni majority leader, he never disappoints. Ako sawa kabisa. Nataka ni chukwe na fasi kutambua chia lady wa constituency, a wave two, chia lady night, chia manu wetu Thomas, ma chia lady wate na chia menu wate na viongozi wate wa embakasi east constituency, ni mewatambua na wana embakasi east constituency, ni mewatambua katika jina la yesu. Jambo langu la kwanza ni kuongea juu ya mambo ambaye yalifanyika juzi hapa nje ya kanisa. Nataka kuhakikishia wana embakasi east constituency na wana JTM ya kwamba hakuna mtu yeyote anafaa kukuja kunyakua shamba la kanisa. Na mimi pamoja na viongozi wa constituency pamoja na area MCS tazo tutahakikisha watu wasiangaishwe kwenye JTM Huyu wow. apostle ana roho mzuri sana Ndiyo maana watu wanajaa kwenye kanisa hivi Lakini kama yeye kazi yake ni kusaidia wa Kenya na kupeana hope na kuheal magonjwa na kusaidia watu kwenda shule na kulipa pia hospital bills wewe ni nani ambaye unaletea apostle pressure kwenye JTM Kwa hivyo apostle leo mambo tutaingilia kabisa Asanteni nataka niseme jambo moja kwa Biblia In First Samuel 30 verse 8 The Bible says that David inquired at the Lord and he asked the Lord Lord the Almighty shall I pursue this troop shall I overtake them then the Lord answered pursue for thou art agreed that you shall overtake them and without fail you shall recover all and david went for the battle and won the battle and he became vic victorious because of the almighty god here in kenya with our leader the people's president raila molo dinga We shall pursue our political nemesis. We shall overtake our political opponents. And without fail, we shall recover all. Amen. Mnajua watu wa JTM. Sometimes God will give you leaders to punish you. Sometimes God will allow somebody to rig so that your people his people are punished and this was in the bible they are kings after the israelites demanded that they must be given a king they were given kings they were given king saul when lord sent samuel to anoint king saul and king saul ended up punishing the israelites they were given king lachish who punished the israelites they were given king hebron who punished the israelites here in kenya we are being punished so that we open our eyes wacheni ni waulize mtu kama rigadi mungu anaweza kuwa amemchagua kweli huyu anaweza kuwa amechaguliwa na mwenyezi mungu na ruto anaweza kuwa amechaguliwa na mungu Let me tell you The reason why every bad thing is happening is because we have 
bad leadership in this country. Hapa January itaenda juu. Saizi from next week bei ya stima inaenda wapi? Tuliambiwa bei ya unga itaenda chini, imerudi ya jarudi. Na mnajua kwa nini hizo bei zinaenda juu? Kwa sababu dereva wa gari anakaa mbele. Dereva wa meli anakaa mbele. Dereva wa tuktuk anakaa mbele. Dereva wa ndege anakaa mbele. Dereva wa mkokoteni anakaa mbele. Dereva wa bodaboda anakaa mbele. Dereva wa baiskeli anakaa mbele. Ni dereva Na hii inafanyika kwa sababu Kenya inaendeshwa kama wilbaro. Tutakubali hatutakubali. Asanteni sana. Sasa nataka nichukue hii nafasi ya kipekee kukaribisha chairman wangu wa ODM Nairobi County. Chairman ambaye ameapishwa mara kumi kuanzia councilor akakuwa mpaka mayor his worship chairman George Omwera Aladwa ambaye pia ni the incoming Vihiga County Governor. Karibu Governor. Asanti mheshimiwa babu na washukuru Mungu siku ya leo. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Nashukuru Mungu siku ya leo. Bishop Asanta wa Constitution says and we shall not entertain any message meant to set us back. So please enda ukalale ukijua